shots here in more than three decades. Some of them have been memorable. Some of them entirely forgotten. It's a busy week for David Thor. As a teacher at the Oleander Golf Center in Wilmington, North Carolina, his lesson book is just about full. Get a little more turn. That's pretty good. But as a former PGA Tour player, he has one eye on Ponte Vedra Beach this week as well. Thor teed it up in the first players at the stadium course back in 1982. It was a long time ago, but the memories are stamped on his brain like a brand. When I watch someone hit the ball in the water on 17, I know how it feels. It's just a basic eight, nine iron shot that you hit a thousand times, but it's just so hard to fully commit and fully, you know, release the shot. 17 might not be the most famous hole in golf. It is, though, unquestionably in the discussion. Middle of the green, please. In the middle of an island. But of all the things that have happened here, it's that thing that keeps happening, which gives the hole its fame and its infamy. Coming into this week, and since 2003, when they first started to keep records for such things, the field is a combined 614 strokes over par on 17. 553 tee balls have gone for a swim. In the tournament's history, the number is likely thousands. But of all those efforts which began with such good intentions and ended up simply rinsed, none is quite as special as the one Thor hit on March 18, 1982. People said, are you embarrassed about it? And I said, no, a lot of good players have hit it in the water there, so I, I just happened to be the first. One is the loneliest number that Uh-huh, you know. numero uno. As far as 17 is concerned, Thor is the Wright brothers for whom things went wrong. I was in the first group that year with John Adams and Skeeter Heath and we teed off Ken at 7.15. I was playing well at the time. I was even par when I got to the 17th hole. I was 122 yards at the front and the pin was back right. Because I hit it in the water and back then you had to re-tee it if they didn't let you go to the drop circle. So you start thinking, man, I may be here a while. So the next one I kind of thinned on the green, but then also three putted. So I was the first guy to three putted too. He made six, shot 77, and ended up missing the cut by eight in an event highlighted by another aquatic episode. Thor's place in history is mostly forgotten, probably because of all the mayhem that would eventually occur at 17. He played four full seasons on tour, made 46 cuts, and long ago shifted to teaching, where he has much to offer. I can teach you how you know, not hit it in the water, but I need to learn how to do that myself. Now, Josh, to be fair, Thor's shot that Thursday morning was not the very first ball ever in the water on this course because the course had been open since 1980, but it was the first in tournament play. And here's my favorite fact about the whole